Have you ever pondered how close we are to a future where human-robot interaction becomes as commonplace as human-to-human -human interaction? A future where robots could potentially mirror our every move, expression, and even our appearance. Welcome to the world of Geminoid, Kodomoroid, and Otonoroid. In the realm of robotics, Japan has been a pioneer, pushing the boundaries of innovation, precision, and creativity. One of the most notable projects to come out of this technological powerhouse is the Geminoid series, helmed by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro and his team. The Geminoid project has a singular goal to create robots that can emulate human appearance and behavior in the most realistic way possible. Each Geminoid is a bespoke creation designed to mimic a particular individual, right down to their movements and expressions. Examples include Geminoid Hi-1, Geminoid DK, and Geminoid F. Today they are utilized in experiments and public demonstrations, stimulating discussions about the future implications of robotics and AI. Geminoid Hi-1, introduced in 2006, is an android replica of Hiroshi Ishiguro reproducing his voice and head movements to explore human-like attributes. Geminoid F, developed in April 2010, is a realistic female android capable of mimicking human facial expressions and speech. Modeled after a woman in her 20s, Geminoid DK launched in 2011. Closely resembles Danish professor Henrik Scarf, reflecting his ties to Denmark. In 2023, Hiroshi Ishiguro unveiled Erika, the first robot news anchor on national TV. Erika possesses conversational abilities, facial tracking, and reading skills with a voice akin to a 23-year-old. She adeptly processes sound in conversations. Driven by advanced AI, Erika learns from interactions and excels in language processing. Although lacking limbs, she utilizes infrared sensors to monitor movement. Erica's potential applications span various fields, including healthcare, education, customer service, and public spaces. Recipriate from Kaioi Sanjo meets receptionist job requirements. Recipriate can understand and communicate in practically all languages worldwide. Recipriate ensures style, performance, and multilingual proficiency. A lab, a company based in Tokyo crafted the Matsukoroid, an android meticulously designed to mirror Matsuko Deluxe, the renowned plus-sized Japanese TV personality celebrated for his cross-dressing and resonant voice. The debut of Matsuko coincided with Matsuko Deluxe's presence on a fresh TV show titled Matsuko and Matsuko in April 2015. A lab crafted the Asuna robot, a remarkable innovation. This android is meticulously designed to emulate the appearance and behaviors of Asuna, a well-loved character from the anime and light novel series Sword Art Online. With the goal of breathing life into this cherished fictional figure, the Asuna robot provides fans with a tangible means to interact with her, offering a unique and immersive experience. Junko Jiro stands as an android creation by the Japanese firm Toshiba. Bearing the likeness of a human woman, she possesses the ability to express realistic facial emotions and gestures. Frequently employed as a greeter or receptionist across different environments, Junko Jiro serves as a testament to cutting edge robotics technology and lifelike interaction capabilities. Eco Kaira, developed by Toshiba in Japan, is an android crafted to closely resemble a human woman with remarkably realistic facial expressions and gestures. It frequently serves as a greeter or receptionist in diverse environments. Her presence not only highlights the advancements in robotics, but also enthralls those who interact with her, showcasing her ability to engage in remarkably human-like interactions. T stands as a pinnacle of humanoid innovation. Meticulously modeled after the renowned television personality and philanthropist that's Hugo Corwa, Energy. Beyond the robotic marvel, T is a cultural icon reborn in silicon and sensors equipped to mimic Itsuko appearance and voice with uncanny accuracy. 
Designed for deep, meaningful communication, T engages in conversations that feel as real as those with the human. With each update, developers enhance her conversational abilities, aiming to understand and respond to human emotions and nuances better. This isn't merely a tribute but a testament to robots' potential in enriching human interactions globally. AWE uh, represents the fusion of tradition with futurism, embodying the seamless integration of cultural heritage and modern innovation. Dressed in traditional Japanese attire, AWE uh, enhances the aesthetic of Tokyo's revered department store while bridging cultural gaps with fluid, human-like movements and Bilingual capabilities AWE serves customers with precision and courtesy, redefining customer service. AWE's presence underscores the growing role of humanoid robots in everyday human environments, blurring the lines between human and machine. Android ALU emerges as a fascinating marvel in the world of robotics. Equipped with a pneumatic servo system for fluid and natural movements, with upgraded audio capabilities and enhanced materials for a softer, human-like appearance, Android ALU delivers strikingly lifelike performances. Her debut on a popular Japanese broadcasting program showcased not just her performances, but her remarkable autonomous conversational abilities engaging with the audience in real time with a approximately 14 degrees of freedom and movement coordination. Android ALU revolutionize how robots are perceived in entertainment, blurring the lines between human and machine interaction on stage. Androids are humanoid robots developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company. Acroid boasts a strikingly human-like appearance. The full-stack droid was initially unveiled at the 2003 International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Since then, multiple iterations of this product have been created, often resembling average young Japanese women. Actroid serves as a tangible realization of the android and gyroid concepts from science fiction, mimicking lifelike functions such as blinking, speaking, and breathing. Notably, the reply models feature interactive capabilities recognizing and processing speech to respond appropriately. Equipped with internal sensors and actuators, Actroid models react with remarkable naturalness, even simulating defensive responses against intrusive actions. Enhanced by artificial intelligence, they can differentiate between gentle touches and more forceful interactions, adapting their reactions accordingly. Actroid's repertoire extends to imitating human behaviors through subtle movements, including shifts in position, head, and emotions, and simulated breathing. Moreover, these robots can be taught human-like movements by tracking reflective dots on a person's body, thereby learning and replicating gestures. Featuring realistic silicone skin and powered by external compressed air and hardware, Actroid's mobility is limited typically displayed in seated or supported standing positions. Interaction with humans occurs through speech and nonverbal cues, with microphones recording speech and speech recognition software enabling verbal responses. The first Actroid was revealed at the International Robot Exhibition in November 2003. In January 2004, the Actroid Reply Q1 model was developed at Osaka University. In December 2004, the Actroid Reply Q1 was created for Expo 2005. March 2005 saw the display of Actroid export models at the 2005 Expo, with three stationed at Hell Booths and another serving as an MC on stage. Introduced in June 2005, Actroid DER emerged as a rental only model for dramatic entertainment replicating human-like expressions with high functionality, prioritizing lifelike presence. It boasts fluid gestures and attention-grabbing effects. Serving as a chairperson or booth assistant, it excels in delivering fluent narrations and captivating audiences. In October 2006, Actroid DER2 units debuted, dubbed the Actroid DER2 Boosting, enhanced appearance and performance, even cuter than its predecessor. 
This iconic robot surprises with long legs, a radiant smile, and captivating facial expressions. Its polished gestures make it an ideal narrator, doubling as a fashion model. In October 2008 at Actroid DER3 was launched representing the younger sisters of their two leveraging past technology. Their three exhibits enhanced expressive capabilities. Notably, advancements in arm and foot movements enable actions like hand gestures and simulated kicking. While their three doesn't engage in soccer, meticulous attention to invisible mechanisms drives its development. Actroid DER3 possesses creative abilities, showcasing talents in Actroid, Sarah first appeared in November 2009. She looks like a young Japanese woman and can copy human facial expressions and movements very realistically. Japan's Robot Hotel, known locally as the Weird Hotel, stands out for its unique staff composition. Located in Sasebo, the Henna Hotel opened its doors in 2016, offering a futuristic experience with robots handling various tasks throughout the property. From an English-speaking dinosaur welcoming guests at reception to Wally serving as a personal concierge in rooms, automation is the norm here. Every aspect, including check-in, bellhop service, waiter duties, and cloakroom management, is handled seamlessly by machines. At the Global Mobile Internet Conference in Beijing on April 30, 2015, Yang Yang, a humanoid robot equipped with a range of lifelike expressions, captivated attendees. Modeled after a key researcher involved in its development, Yang Yang can blink, smile, shake hands, and even share hugs with its human counterpart. Crafted from a unique silica gel material mimicking the tactile sensations of human skin, Yang Yang marks the fourth creation from Shanghai Qingqing Industry. In June 2014 Isergoro introduced Kodomoroid and Otonoroid to the world. Kodomoroid, the younger-looking android of the duo, derives her name from a blend of Kodomo, meaning child in Japanese, and android. She presents as an adolescent female with a youthful voice. During a demonstration, she adeptly delivered news reports on an earthquake and an FBI raid, exuding confidence as she interacted with those around her. Kodomoroid even jestingly remarked on her creator, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, quipping that he was starting to resemble a robot. Contrasting Kodomoroid's demeanor, Otonoroid, the elder-looking android, exhibited a persona opposite to hers. It remains unclear whether it was scripted, but the android purportedly experienced stage fright, requiring a system reboot. Otonoroid confessed, I'm a little nervous, and stumbled over lines when asked for an introduction. Its name combines Otona, denoting an adult female, with android. Both Kodomoroid and Otonoroid are slated to work at Marekin, engaging with visitors and conducting presentations. Their interactions will be meticulously recorded to gather and analyze data on human-machine interactions. Additionally, beyond their newsreading capabilities, these androids possess the ability to vocalize tweets in various tones. Ibuki, a childlike android, is a product of the Ishiguro Symbiotic Human-Robot Interaction Project which strives to create robots with remarkable human-like qualities. Developed within this project's framework, Ibuki embodies the mission to craft autonomous social robots capable of engaging with multiple humans through various communication channels. Equipped with comprehensive visual capabilities, Ibuki can scan for faces, while its movement is facilitated by a semi-track system. Although it exhibits involuntary motions such as blinking and subtle head movements, Ibuki currently serves primarily as a proof of concept. Notably, its translucent robotic skull underscores its experimental nature. In a nutshell, Geminoid, Kodomoroid, and Otonoroid represent the cutting edge of robotics. They are more than technological marvels. They are symbols of our progress towards a future where robots could seamlessly integrate into our everyday lives.